You know, the city of Buffalo makes millions on parking fines, and those tickets are expensive. So News 4 investigates dug into the data and found there are ticket hotspots throughout the city. News 4's Luke Moretti joins us now to tell us more about these hotspots. Luke? Yeah, there's nothing like a parking ticket to ruin a night out. So News 4 investigates decided to take a look at the hotspots for getting parking tickets in the city of Buffalo. It's information that just may help you avoid finding one of those pesky orange envelopes on your car. Yeah, I have to go. It's 1.30. <laughs> Laura Farmello had 30 seconds to get to her car on Elmwood Avenue before her parking meter ran out. She wasn't going to take any chances in one of the city's hot spots for parking tickets. They love to ticket. The city must need some revenue. <laughs> Katie Naughton gets ticketed near her North Buffalo home. We live on um, a corner lot, so you have to reverse parking on Mondays and Thursdays, and they are there at a minute after 6 to ticket you. And that's where we get most of our tickets. Really? Which is so frustrating because that's where you live. Where are you most likely to get a ticket? To find out, News 4 Investigates obtained the database of nearly 1 million city parking tickets since 2010. Elmwood Avenue at Cleveland, the area around Spot Coffee, is definitely a hot spot. Since 2010, the city has issued more than 7,000 tickets. We get customer complaints on a regular basis about tickets. A Spot Coffee manager, Jesse Whitmire, says customers get caught especially on Cleveland Avenue, where they often can't tell which side of the street is legal. Nobody has any clear idea on where to park, and they ask us, and honestly, we're not the parking authority, so we can't really guide them either way, and it is frustrating. News 4 discovered other hot spots around the city. Business districts like Hurdle Avenue at Canisius College, around the medical campus, Delaware Avenue across from City Court, and Abbott Road near Mercy Hospital. Kevin Helfer heads up the city's division of parking enforcement. All places that we get calls to enforce, um, it's not us just saying, hey, we gotta go write tickets because we don't act that way. Top violations are what you expect. Alternate parking, failing to feed the meter, or ignoring signs that limit parking to two hours. It's big money for the city of Buffalo, nearly $50 million in fines over the last five years. Big misconception is, yeah, sure we make money as a department, but that's not our primary goal. Our primary goal is, is public safety and working with the community to make adequate parking in the community. Helfer says that parking enforcement officers also ticket other violations like expired registration or inspection. More than 100,000 drivers have gotten at least one of those non-parking tickets. A top address for ticketing is 2001 Main Street, the Canisius College campus where city and college security have issued tickets for cars parked in the wrong lots or illegally on side streets. The people in the community around Canisius very much want enforcement. How about Canal Side, one of the hottest areas in the region? Cars do get tickets there, but nowhere near the numbers in the hot zones. Helfer says the paid lots and free two-hour street parking meet parking demand right now. That's probably where we're going to have to enforce next. We're going to have to see if people are just sitting there all day long for eight hours and maybe walking to work. There is a way to beat a ticket if you're parking in a two-hour limit spot. Just move the car one space ahead or behind. That's what the bail bond companies do that park on Delaware Avenue across from City Court, another ticket hotspot. We do get tickets. City data show that the three trucks parked there last week have gotten tickets, but only a fraction of the thousands written for that block. It's better to pay, uh, what do you call it, the, the, the $2 than to pay this. But sometimes you, you forget. Well, the city has collected about $50 million since 2010 in parking fines, and a big chunk of that is in late fees. All of it goes to the general fund. Now, WIVB.com has a lot more on this, including maps where you can zoom in to see the hottest ticket areas. Luke Moretti, News 4.